In this example, we need to graph the equation y equals 2x minus 3 by plotting points. How many points do you have to have to graph a straight line? You only need two. I strongly suggest you plot three points because if they don't all lie on a straight line, it tells you you've made an arithmetic error. So I need to write out a t-chart. I'm going to have to find some points. And does it tell you which x values to use? No. I normally start with x equals 0, because that's a very easy one to figure out the y value. So when x equals 0, y equals 2 times x, so it's 2 times 0 minus 3. So what's the y value? 2 times 0 is 0, 0 minus 3 is just negative 3. So my first ordered pair is 0, negative 3. So let's plot that point. We start at the origin. x is 0, go nowhere in the x direction. y is negative 3, go down 3. There's my first point. Now I need another x value. Does it matter which one? No. I'm just going to pick x equals positive 3. So I'm going to plug positive 3 in for my x value. So y equals 2 times x, which is 3, minus 3. So y is 2 times 3 is 6. So that's 6 minus 3. So what's my y value? 6 minus 3 is 3. So my next point is 3, 3. So when x is 3, I go 3 to the right. y is 3, I go 3 up, and there's my next point. Now all we need is one more point. I could pick another value over here. I always like to have some on the left and some on the right of the origin, so I'm just going to pick x equals negative 3. So y equals 2 times x, which is negative 3 in this case, minus 3. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, minus 3. So what's my y value? Negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9. So my last ordered pair is negative 3, negative 9. So start at the origin. x is negative 3, left 3. y is negative 9, go down to negative 9. There is my third point. These points look like they form a straight line, so let me see if I can just draw a straight line through them. I think that's pretty good. And remember, when you draw a line, you always put arrows on both of the ends. So now I have graphed my line y equals 2x minus 3 by plotting three points.